Hey everybody and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today uh, I wanted to kind of work on a couple of new things. Uh, the first of which in this video I wanted to look at is night vision. I also want to add in thermal. I just thought it would be kind of a cool thing to add into this game. I wanted to have some enemies that you couldn't see unless you had thermal on. Uh, a bit like uh, Aliens vs Predator. I wanted to sort of have some like AI creatures that, that kind of were only seen via that. Uh, I also wanted to add some night vision in just because uh, I thought it would be something kind of cool to add into the game. I haven't really worked out how I want this to add into the controller. So that'll be, we'll, we'll do like a controller setup video down the line when I kind of make sure everything is how I want it on a gamepad and a keyboard. But I thought we'd just get the, um, the brunt of it down. First of all, you need to open up the third person character. Um... And then we kind of want to add in a new thing. And that's going to be post-process. Um, that should get added in somewhere, wherever it is. Oh. Don't add it to the, the self. Add it onto like the mesh or something. Process. There we go. Okay. Now we've got that. Let's find some new space. We're going to get key N for this, just for now, just to just test and stuff. Obviously, use any key you want for this. Where is N? There it is. Uh, and we're going to just use a basic flip-flop, like so. And what this will do is, like our flashlight and other things, it'll just turn it on with A and turn it off with B, and it'll just switch between the presses. Bring it down a little bit. Oh, bring it down a bit. There you go. Uh, and then we want to get our active camera, which is under camera. No, it's not. It's under components. There it is. Bring out your active camera. And we want to set post process settings like so. And we want to do this twice. Chuck them both into there, like so. And we want to set these to two individual uh, variables. So this one will take all the um, setup of the post process as it is now. Uh, so we'll call this, uh, rename this to uh, normal PP. And then we want to promote this one uh, to a variable. And we'll call this one uh, night vision pp uh, so what this will do is this will when we press a it'll activate night vision and when we press it again it will return the post process volume to what it should be uh, and now we want to amend some of the values within our night vision post process okay so there's a few things we need to change uh, the first one we need to find is our exposure I'm just going to open everything up so I can see everything. You used to be able to, on I think on UE4, you used to be able to um, just search for what you wanted. Uh, nowadays, you cannot. Uh, so the first one we want to change while we're here is film grain intensity. Change it to something like 0 0.7. Uh, we then want to find... If we go back up to the top and just start opening a few of these up. Uh, come down to exposure. And we want to change our exposure com uh, comp compensation. Changes to uh, seven, I'd say, is probably a good one. Uh, we also want to change our vignette intensity to 0 0.6. Uh, we're also looking for bloom intensity. Bloom intensity should be 1. 
And the last thing we need to find is our scene tint. And let's change that to, now I'm gonna go for something that in the recent, if you've played the new Modern Warfare 2, you'll know uh, that they use kind of like a bluish color. So we're gonna go for something like that. Let's uh, give it a go, let's play. So it's quite bright, let's go in somewhere a bit darker. That's not giving us the exact kind of um, effect we want, so let's mend some stuff. Uh, that's probably why. I'm using the wrong tint. Probably doesn't help. Click OK, compile, play. That's better. That's a lot better. Now you're still going to get some glow from the other lights. I think that's the problem down here. Let's um, let's uh, instead let's go into this area here where it's a bit darker. There we go. So I think the other lights were affecting it down that coral because they're quite. Um, they are quite intense, but as you can see, we've got this lovely blue tint. We can also put on our light to brighten stuff, uh, but we have a working night vision. Obviously, if change a few of the um, the other effects um, to suit you better. Like if I turn that back off, uh, let's turn that back to white and turn it off. We don't want any lens flare. Let's give it another go to see if that does affect it in any way. Oh, a little bit darker. Uh, but yeah, we've got a working uh, a working night vision. You can obviously darken that color too. That would probably help a little bit if you kind of gave it a bit more of a darker tone. Uh, you can also room, uh, lower some of these figures so that they're not so crazy bright. So like, let's put that to a six, for example. Now there are lights in the scene too, like directional lights and things. So that's also going to affect, it's not completely dark. There you go, that's a little bit better. Um, I've turned down the intensity by to six, um, the exposure compensation to six, sorry. And I've turned down the color to a bit darker and actually you're getting some better effects now. So, um, so yeah, hopefully this has been useful to you guys. Obviously play around with the figures a little bit. Uh, so you get something that works for you, but I kind of went for the blue just because that's what the Call of Duty did And I thought it was really effective um, When you're like work, walking through the tree line and stuff and you you put your blue night vision on it looks very cool um, They obviously have a d totally different flashlight. Oh, I threw a grenade. That's gonna Oops, There we go <laughs> um, But yeah, so uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this um, Leave a little like and a little comment if you wouldn't mind um, and obviously hit that sub button if you're not already subbed and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.